Each year, Family from Caregivers provide an estimated $600 billion in unpaid care to family members. That, though, is not a complete picture. National consumer correspondent Usher Qureshi shows us a tool that can help families estimate the true cost of caregiving. So I am renovated this bathroom to make it easier for my dad. It was your Safety proofing her aging parents' home was an expensive undertaking for Amy Goyer. And when you've got someone with dementia, you don't know if they're going to lift their feet or not. Their feet are shuffling. He was, it got extremely dangerous. The home is filled with memories of a lifetime, clouded by the stress of caring for her mother after a stroke and her father with Alzheimer's. When he went in hospice care, they're like, you don't have to shower him every day. I said, you don't understand. That's the best part of his day. We're absolutely doing this, you know. And up until the day he died, we were able to do that. He was amazing. So how much of a financial strain was this on you? It was financially devastating for me. And so I don't have regrets about anything I did in caring for my family. But I ended up in bankruptcy. She wasn't just a caregiver in her personal life. She's AARP's expert on caregiving, helping families find resources for aging adults. Some people are doing complicated nursing tasks. They're doing things that would you'd be paying a lot of money to get. We're using medical equipment. We're dealing with, um, you know, oxygen and, and checking blood sugars and doing a lot of medical and nursing tasks. How are you ever supposed to take care of yourself? More and more people are facing this question. According to the Harvard Business School, three quarters of American workers now have a second job caring for an adult family member in their off time. Like Sean Lowe, who's been caring for her mother along with her siblings since the impact of Alzheimer's started nearly a decade ago. Are there resources, financial resources to help you care for your mom, balance your work life, your personal life, your family life? Not um, personally, not that I'm aware of. We showed Lowe a unique custom tool by Salary.com. It calculates the cost of caring for someone based on time, type of work, and where you live. Here we go. Ah! Oh! Wow. Stop. Stop. $270,000. And we're getting zero. That's the projected salary for taking care of her mom. Without financial help, Goyer says families end up passing down debt from one generation to the next. We largely don't have enough support. And what we're doing is we're putting our financial security of our caregivers in jeopardy in the future. So they're not going to have the money to pay for somebody to take care of them. In a new report to Congress, the Family Caregiving Council proposed several solutions, including providing states more money for caregiving programs, offering a federal tax credit for family caregivers, and immigration reform, allowing more workers in to meet the caretaker demand, all of which require congressional action. Usher Qureshi, CBS News. That uh, tool shows that in Minneapolis, St. Paul, for example, a full-time caregiver would make an average of $114,000 per year. You can find that caregiver calculator on WCCO.com.